After doing further research on my target audience, I decided to look further into detail about the institutional context for my product. Um, in the target audience section of my portfolio, I mentioned in a video blog that I'd include my documentary on a BBC channel. However, um, after doing further research into the scheduling of specific channels and programmes, I've decided to change this. Um, I looked on digiguide.tv forward slash list to see the weekly TV listings for BBC channels and Channel 4 channels. And um, so this includes BBC One, BBC Two, BBC Three, uh, Channel Four, Channel E Four, and More Four. And from doing this, I found out that Channel Four actually airs the most documentaries, and therefore I would then air my documentary on Channel Four. So it would be branded as a Channel Four documentary. Uh, on this page is a slideshow of. Uh, specific screenshots I've taken of the TV listings and if you hover over the images it tells you which channel the uh, screenshot is from and if you click on the image it actually shows you it in a bigger form. I've also found out that there are three main types of TV scheduling. Um, so the first one is inheritance scheduling which is where the TV program is shown after a particular program in the hope of sort of inheriting the previous program's audience. The second is called pre-echo uh, pre scheduling, uh, where the program is shown before a popular program, so that they are hoping the audience will tune into that TV channel a little bit early and catch the end of the program and then want to watch it the next time that it's on. And the third type of TV scheduling is called hammocking, where the programme is sandwiched between two popular programmes so that it experiences um, viewers who have been inherited from the previous show and viewers who have tuned in early and will catch the end of the first programme. This also indicates that the programme is quite um, expensive to make as well because of the time slot that it's been put in and it also works for both of the other um, programs because uh, if people wanted to watch both of the popular programs then they're not going to switch over in between if something is going to be shown which is quite interesting. Uh, for me I would schedule my documentary using the inheritance method because uh, it's a one-off documentary that I'd be doing, therefore pre-echoing wouldn't really work very well because it's aimed, that's aimed at shows which are going to be showed again and the pre-echoing is used to entice people to want to watch it the next time that it's on. Um, I wouldn't choose the hammocking method either because um, as if my documentary is going to be shown between two popular programmes then it would be on quite late in the evening and I assume from my research that most popular TV shows are shown quite late and I would want to air my documentary at about 9pm which is why the inheritance method would work best for scheduling time for my documentary. To market my product I'm obviously going to be making a radio trailer and a newspaper advert but there's other possibilities as well such as magazine articles, interviews on television chat shows which will gain much more of a wider audience. 